I know we've been leaving out a lot of squids from our story times, so here we go. How about a story about some Bush? Robert E. Bush. He was the son of a logger from Tacoma, Washington. As a child, he worked in a sawmill with his underage friends because all the grown men were off at war. There was a red light on the ceiling that would turn on when they needed to hide under the floorboards when the inspectors would show up, so they wouldn't see that the whole thing was run by salty-ass children. A job like that would put some hair on your chest early. So Robert got his bad motherfucker training early in life. In 1945, Robert Bush served with a rifle company in the 1st Marine Division in Okinawa as a hard-charging, tough-as-nails devil duck who would become the youngest sailor in World War II to be awarded the Medal of Honor. When the 1st Marine Division found themselves up against the Japanese soldiers teaming the beaches of the Ryukyu Islands, Robert had his hands full as he treated the wounded as fast as he could. He dodged artillery, mortar, and machine gun fire and started treating a Marine lieutenant in an exposed position on the ridge. While administering plasma to the LT, Japanese soldiers started to charge up the hill. Within a matter of seconds, Robert was sprayed by three different grenades, taking out one of his eyes, pelting his shoulder, and his head with shrapnel. That really pissed him off, so he grabbed the officer's carbine with his free hand and started playing whack-a-mole of death with any Japanese soldier's head he could see moving up over the hill. He later told a reporter, Every time I saw a Japanese head pop up, I could see the star on their helmets. I'd fire one round a foot below where I saw that head come up because I knew I couldn't miss. I'd get him on the way down. He ended up killing six enemies with one eye and literally one hand behind his back. Badly wounded himself, he stayed with the lieutenant until he was safely evacuated and then collapsed trying to walk himself to the battle aid station. Robert retired in the 1980s after returning home and building a multi-million dollar lumber company back home in good old Washington State. Squids, I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a good night, kids.